My role in Swafford Arts Festival was, uh, was brought about by an incident that happened at um, a Kaylee that was in this uh, very room. And I was talking to the organiser of uh, the person that runs the whole place, uh, Julie, Ju Julie Shaw. And I said, is there any chance of actually hiring this room to have my prints up and have a party and hopefully sell work for a charity? So she said, funny you should say that, because we've been thinking of actually using this as an arts festival for some time now. So I said, oh, that's good. So she says, why don't we get together and have a, have a serious think about it? And so we did, with a number of other people who was, had other skills to bring to the party. And uh, from there, which was about last o o October, exhibitors come from all over the Locally shared, is certainly we wanted to have people from, from the valley, from, from Combe Valley, and we widened the net to in Huddersfield basically, and we sent out adverts or not, calls for, for artists who might be interested in joining us. And the replies are the people who are, who are showing here. An awful lot of people did want to come but couldn't for other reasons, but if, if this continues, then we're going to continue to have. Uh, and we continue to have this then hopefully they'll be able to put into their diaries this date or whatever date it will be for their, for their work to come next year. I'm Ange, I work for the Green Valley Grocer in Slathwaite. Um, here we are in the shop. Um, we're a general grocer's community owned shop. Uh, we've been running for about eight years. Um, generally in Slowit, lots of things happen, um, lots of community groups, lots of projects. And this is the first Slowit art festival um, that's been held here. And as a community owned shop, we tend to try and get involved in as much as we possibly can. Uh, so we're absolutely delighted to be involved in this first ever Slowit art festival. Um, today we're here, we're, we've got two local artists. We've got John Hewitt, who is um, from Diggle. He lectures in University of Manchester in drawing illustration. Um, and we've got a series of his drawings on display here on a digital display in the shop today and tomorrow over the weekend. We're displaying I think 56 of his different drawings of our stock that we sell that he's chosen to draw um, and then once he's drawn them he photographs them, pops them up on Instagram um, and then people can see them through that. The second artist that, we've, that we're showing here in the Green Valley Grocer is a guy called Ben Childs. Um, he's a local chap, he um, runs a, a, a computer internet business from here, from locally um, and he has got into the more creative side of using technology and IT to cr make creative artworks. So he's done this amazing picture of the Green Valley Grocer, which he's actually donated to the shop and we're allowed to use it for our own purposes. Um, we've got bags printed up, um, another local business, Sergeant Smith, um, or as they're now called, Huddersfield Screen Printing Company, um, has done the printing for us on this, which is another collaboration with a local business. Um, we've also got shirts, Green Valley Grocer shirts, and we've got that design on the back there as well. So we're really lucky to have two really great artists just pretty much on our doorstep, um, regular customers of the shop, members of the Green Valley Grocer Club Cooperative, um, and we're really delighted to be able to support them and to be part of the Slough Art Festival. Yeah, I've got, I've got about four, five, six pieces of work in this room, and then I've got a stall in the, in the main area. Recently, I've started to do quite a lot of um, ink-based work, Indian ink-based work, and I'm quite enjoying doing that because it's something that immediately appears on the paper, you know what it's going to be, you build it up from that to the finished thing. 
Whereas with a print, you don't quite know what's going to happen when you pull the, the screen down or what have you. It might be disappointed or, or not. It might be over the, you might be over the moon with the result, but you never know. So it's a bit of a gamble with a print, whereas with a painting, you know more or less what's going to come out when you do it. I think the thing that has made me really happy is, is the team. We've had a fantastic team here and it's been five, oh, I don't know, it must be ten of us. I, I wouldn't even like to think, and I'd probably miss people out. But they've all worked their socks off to get this together in time at, at this place. Unfortunately, the weather hasn't been particularly kind for us, but it's early days and we're very happy with what we've seen so far. And hopefully, you know, tomorrow will bring us some more enjoyable times. And I think probably, I think the idea is most of the people that did it this year are thinking that it might be something that could run again next year and maybe, who knows, an annual thing for, for many years.